And now it's time for Carly's super famous in a nutshell synopsis. The worst honeymoon ever in the history of honeymoons. That's it. That's it. <laughs> what a disservice. <laughs> <laughs> it is. The worst honeymoon ever for poor Janet Lee. I suppose so. I, I did have another complicated one which involved um, dramatic flamboyance and corruption on the Mexican border. But that's, that's secondary. It's about the poor woman on a honeymoon that gets kidnapped and whatever. <laughs> well, I mean, she wanted to go back to America and, and, and stay in a hotel for comfort. <laughs> I mean, I just, I had so many questions with her in the beginning. Like, why does she go off with a random Mexican who has a note and a posse of people? Well, I mean, at some point when you're surrounded by a bunch of people, you kind of have to comply or you might get hurt. And I'm pretty sure that's what she Okay, was so then why did that. she start yelling at the angry mobster man and calling and just insulting him? I think she called him bald little man at one point. That's not a good thing when you're chatting yeah, with Again, I think it's just because, you know, once you're there and you assess the situation and you kind of might be under the impression that uh, you're not going to be hurt or harmed. Also, she's a very strong-willed woman. She definitely is. She's, However, she's not I, a pushover. I think she assessed the situation a little bit incorrectly within the first 10 minutes of the film. <laughs> Just saying. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, I, I, I don't know. I sort of appreciated that because, I mean, most of these women in film noir are – they're portrayed a certain way and it's kind of refreshing for me to see them, you know, have, have a backbone, be strong, be, you know, even, even in the face of danger like that, even if she does get murdered and killed or whatever, she's holding her own. I did like her um, relationship with um, Charlton Heston though. I thought they were a really good couple once I got past the fact that it was Charlton Heston that I was watching. Oh, you didn't even know it at first? Or did you know? Do you remember when, when we were having a conversation and I said, like, I, I think I need to watch it again because I spent far too long getting distracted as to whether that was Charlton Heston. I don't remember and whether you saying he that. was no, funny pretending that. to be Mexican. Yeah. At the point <laughs> where funny. I stopped watching the film to actually Google, is this Charlton Heston pretending to be Mexican? <laughs> Yeah, and then uh, I went back to it, and I I miss a lot had happened <laughs> when I went back to it after that Google search. I was like, shit, I need to watch this again. <laughs> I don't know what happened. <laughs> yeah, um, I you know their relationship is fine. I thought it, I thought it worked well, but him as a man and and them on their honeymoon, it really does bother me that politics took precedence. Um, and I understand him being Hispanic and the whole Mexico American, you know, sort of border town and political sort of thing. But I mean, I, I just feel like, I I don't know. I just feel like that's, that was really a terrible move for him not to, um, n not to have a different set of priorities, I guess. Yeah. Like his wife. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah, he's a bit of a bastard, I guess, in that respect. And I mean,